SPI speed is controlled entirely by the master's clock, SCLK. Choosing the wrong frequency is a common cause of unstable or failed communication. Key points to understand. Every SPI slave has a maximum supported clock frequency. Uh, the master must not exceed the slowest slave's limit. Faster is not always better. What limits SPI speed? Slave device timing constraints. PCB trace length and routing. Signal rise fall time. MCU clock source and divider accuracy. Practical guidelines. Start with a low clock speed during bring up. Increase speed gradually once communication is stable. Use short traces for high speed SPI and different slaves may require different SPI speeds. Multiple slaves case. Configure SPI clock before asserting CS. One slave may work at one MHz, another at 10 MHz. Clock change is a master side configuration, not automatic. Common mistakes. Assuming all slaves support the same speed. Ignoring data sheet maximum SPI clock specs. Running fast SPI over long wires or cables.